Hey gang, this is Jay. This is just an update on our case study website that we are monetizing through the Amazon affiliate program. And again, the domain is outdoorhalloweendecorations.org. And it is Sunday morning, October 3rd. I just checked it. I hadn't even uh, logged in to see if we'd made any sales. I checked it out this morning and we've made a bunch. And again, it's, it's the first week of October. Things are going to really start heating up here this, the next two or three weeks. And uh, I want to show you what's doing with this. I want to show you how to access the reports to see how many sales that you have made uh, for your own websites here. Here we are at the Associates homepage and I'm going to click on reports and I'm going to first I'll check on the orders the total amount of orders this is today it looks like I've made two sales here already today October 2nd I'm sorry that was yesterday I guess I haven't made any today so this is within the, within the, the past 24 hours here but I want to check out the total sales to date so I'm just gonna go September 2nd to October 2nd I haven't been making sales for 30 days I've probably been making sales for uh, the, the past two weeks here so display on page and I've got a total of 19 orders uh, already made through my website as an Amazon associate here uh, let's check out the earnings here we are the past month Okay, so 19 sales. I've sold a total worth a total amount of $254.32 worth of merchandise on Amazon, and my cut of that at 6% is 13 bucks and 76 cents. Let's just look at some of the items that we've sold so far. We've got a werewolf window poster. I've got a mystical candle lantern. The inflatables are are selling here. Holiday decorations, inflatable pumpkin scene. And I've got some weird stuff. I've got some books. I've got Redkin heat active texturizer. New blue flame safe Halloween pumpkin LED candle. So I'm pretty happy with that. Again, this is October 3rd and things are going to really start moving in the next two or three weeks. I just want you, I want to let you guys know that it's not too late to get these sites up. Uh, I'm going to get about a dozen more up before Halloween and I'm going to show you how to do it. I just got this script. Uh, from Jason Fladlin and Will Matos on Friday I've got about three dozen domains that I had pretty much written off uh, in terms of my ability to get them up before the holidays but with this script I'm gonna be able to get them all up today uh, this is Sunday again these are the costume domains that I have and I pretty much said you know what I haven't got time they take me about four hours a piece to set up and uh, I wasn't I just don't have that kind of time but with this script I can set them up in under an hour a piece so I'm gonna do it I'm gonna get all these up before the Bears game tonight I'm gonna watch the Bears uh, open up a can of whoop ass on the Giants tonight that's a night game this is Sunday morning and I think I can get up you know a dozen plus domains using this cloning software and let me walk you through it I'm just gonna show you how easy it is I've already done one today again here's our domain this is the domain that I'm gonna be cloning I've got two other domains that are very similar to this uh, they're right in this niche here and that is halloweeninflatables.net and inflatablehalloweendecorations.org I've already got one of them up here's the original that I'm cloning here is the clone I just got it up before I made this recording this is halloweeninflatables.net again outdoor Halloween decorations and there's a little bit of a learning curve but that's why I wanted to make this video available to you guys to to make it a lot faster for you here so I'm going to be cloning this one and it's really easy to do uh, it starts at my FTP client so I use FileZilla that's a free uh, FTP client that you guys can go uh, can download yourself I use it all day long here and I'm gonna start off by let me see here it is outdoor Halloween I'm gonna load up this FTP data into my client here and I'm going to navigate to uh, my file I've got that under JSON I believe my JSON Flatland file I just purchased this from JSON on Friday here it is 
and let me find the folder here. Here it is, WordPress Twin. I'm going to open it up. Uh, you, this has four files in it, but the, the two that we're going to use for this cloning right here is the WordPress Twin.php and the WordPress, WordPress Twin Deploy.php. And this is as simple as dropping and dragging this WordPress Twin file into my public HTML folder for the website that I am cloning. That's pretty quick to upload there. And at this point I'm going to navigate to this file here uh, that I've just uploaded, uploaded to my server. And to do that, it's the domain, of course, outdoorhalloweendecorations.org slash wptwin.php. Again, this will be specific to whatever domain that you guys are cloning. So in this case, it's outdoorhalloweendecorations.org forward slash wptwin.php. And let's go there. Okay, we're almost done cloning this site, believe it or not. Click to clone this site. This is a pretty small file, a uh, set of files, I should say. It shouldn't take too long. Here it is. Here's the download. I'm going to click on this download to load it up on my hard drive here. Click OK. And this shouldn't take long at all. Done. OK, that's real time. So I've already cloned this site. That's how fast it was. It was less than a minute, I'd say. It's just drop and drag again. I'm dropping and dragging this wptwin.php file into the public HTML file of the site that I'm going to clone. I've downloaded this and I'm going to delete this clone. This is that's to remove it from the server. Okay, at this point, I have this clone file on the hard drive of my computer and I'm going to upload it to this new domain. Uh, it's called inflatablehalloweendecorations.org. As you can see, I've only in registered it as an add-on domain at my hosting site and I've installed WordPress and that's all we have. This is your default WordPress page here. And again we're going to head back to our FileZilla FTP clients and I am going to upload the FTP data for this domain. And I think this is it. One sec. That's right, inflatablehalloweendecorations.org. Very good. So here we are. So we're going to head back to that folder. To my Jason Flatland folder, of course. Head back to our Word, WordPress twin folder. We use this one to clone the site, and we're going to use this one to deploy the site to our to our new domain. And again, it's just going to drop and drag into our root file here. And I'm also going to upload the clone file that I just downloaded from our source domain. And I believe that's in my same folder here. One sec. Let me find it here. It's a zip file and this is it. I'm just going to drop and drag this into our public HTML folder and that's it. Again, this is it's the cloned file that we just downloaded from our site that we're cloning and it is the wptwindeploy.php file and we should be good to go and from this point I'm just going to navigate to inflatablehalloweendecorations.org forward slash WP twin deploy dot PHP and we're going to activate this baby and I'm going to show you what that looks like okay it's asking me to validate this is how uh, it knows that I'm a registered user here I'm going to enter my email that I used to purchase this at No secret there. And this is it. I'm going to click cl Deploy Clone. 
and let's have a look at our new cloned website and have a look it's a beautiful thing instant affiliate site uh, this is amazing so here's our new cloned website uh, inflatable Halloween decorations here's our original outdoor Halloween decorations and as you can see it's completely identical except for the name of the website it's got everything set up here it's got all of these images uh, that are already linked out with our affiliate link it has these text links in here it's got AdSense already set up it's got these widgets it has a bunch of outgoing links that I set up on my on my old one so in essence this has saved me about three over three hours of work here and all that's left to do is basically change out this text I, I'm gonna want to have some uh, unique a unique article in here and what I will do is spin the unique article wizard article that I had uh, to create this in the first place and just insert this the spun article in here to replace this text uh, but otherwise it is good to go here let me show you a couple other things that, that I'm going to want to change look at this instant website it's got five posts set up a page category it's got all of my uh, unique settings that that I've got cooked into this thing um, it's got all my plugins installed those are all installed and activated one thing that you're one other thing that you're going to want to change is the all-in-one SEO metadata of course this is called uh, inflatable Halloween decorations and we are going to want to change this home title I can't talk and type today inflatable Halloween decorations and this as well the description and again that's for the all-in-one SEO plugin uh, otherwise these keywords can stay the same all of these other settings are gonna are gonna stay the same and you're good to go I wanted to just give you guys a, a heads up that this is possible and there's plenty of time left again we've got two or three weeks uh, prime time Halloween buying season ahead of us and I'm gonna get the rest of these up here today I just wanted to show you guys the power and leverage that you can get with this script it's amazing I've never seen anything like it and it's con gonna completely change the way that I get these holiday the websites up, these seasonal websites up. Yeah, I'm going to just crank them out now. Again, I've got uh, one dozen left to do. I'm going to complete them by the rest of the day here before the bears come on and, and kick some butt tonight. And I've got two dozen more Christmas blogs that I wasn't going to do because right, it was too much work. But basically, I can get each of them cloned and up and running in about a half hour, 45 minutes using this script. And otherwise, it would have taken me about four hours to do. So I highly recommend this script if you guys want to turn them out just like this. I, as you can see, this is the second one I've cloned. Uh, it took me a little bit longer than Jason uh, that I saw in his demo. He did it in 57 seconds, but I did it in about... I don't know five minutes maybe and you guys can do the same I'm gonna put the link in the email that uh, you found this message from and uh, go ahead have a look at it check out that uh, demo that Jason did he explains a lot of things that I didn't even get to and I think it actually uh, includes 25 cloned sales letters too so have a look I just wanted to get this out to you guys it's not too late crank them out talk to you soon